I'm really shocked about this test. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna shoot brand new, straight out of the package, 100 grain rage tri pan out of the three arrows that went the furthest with the field point penetration test. to Evolve Bow Hunting Outdoors. We are here set up and we are going to do penetration tests with our arrows. So the arrows we got is the Easton Hex weighing in at 340.8 grains, traveling at 302 feet per second. We got a Carbon Express Maxima Hunter weighing in at 354.4 grains at 299 feet per second. Easton 5 millimeter FMJ Weighing in at 429.6 grains, traveling at 276 feet per second. Carbon Express, Maxima Red SD, 453.4, 266 feet per second. Carbon Express Triad, which is the heavy one, weighing at 500.2, only traveling 253 feet per second. Uh, Gold Tip Platinum Pierce, Weighing at 478.4 grains, traveling at 256 feet per second. So there's your constants, and we're going to shoot it out of my Matthews V3, which is pulling about 63, 64 pounds. And since this is a straight just penetration test, the test we're going to do today is just with field points because we're wanting to see what the penetration is on the arrow alone. That was a car. I can edit that out. We want to see what the penetration is just with the arrow because we all know adding a broadhead will give you a little bit more penetration. So we're going to start this today. Next time we are going to uh, do broadheads. So let's get this started today. <music> Here's the Triad, Easton FMJ, this is the Gold Tip Pierce, this one down here is the Maxima Hunter, you have the Easton Hex, and the Maxima Red SD. Alright, so, this one right here is... My Easton Hex, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half. Eleven and a half inches is measured on the Hex, the Gold Tip Pierce, and I would say, what's the 
the triad the triad so those are my lightest and heaviest two arrows and these all have field points then the furthest is actually the very middle of the road arrow which is the maxima red sd at 11 almost 12 inches almost just a hair shy and i only went in half inch increments and that would be this one right here so that is the maxima red i'm really shocked about this test so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna shoot three brand new broadheads with the Easton Hex, the Carbon Express Maxima Red SD, and the Gold Tip Platinum Pierce, which were the three arrows that penetrated the furthest. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, so we've decided that we are actually going to uh, shoot broadheads brand new straight out of the package 100 grain rage tripans out of the three arrows that went the furthest with the field point penetration test which would be the Easton Hex the Maxima Red SDs and the gold tip platinum pierce um, we're blown away by all of this so I mean we're just like I think both of us are kind of in shock right now. So we're gonna do this. All right, first up, Easton Hex. In case I didn't mention it earlier, we are only at 15 yards. Um, for purposes due to the weight different in each arrow difference in each arrow you know at 20 yards or 15 yards i'm sorry um the difference isn't enough to drop and we have to change sights and all that stuff so that's why we're doing it at this this stage Next is, so we went with the Easton Hex, so we'll go with the next heaviest, which is the Maxima Red SDs, Rage Tripan. Just a little close up of that there. Because it is a, it's a pretty slick rock. I could actually hear that Rage open when I hit that. <laughs> This is the gold tip platinum pierce. I've never used these arrows uh, where I'm at today. Uh, James has given me one of his arrows. We're about the same draw length. I think there was only like a inch and a half difference. Um, so that's why we're doing that because both of us were kind of interested. And I actually kind of like these arrows, the features that they offer with them, which we can explain that later. thinking out loud here so tell me what your thoughts is I understand this is this is definitely that middle of the road arrow okay so which is the Maxima Red SD the amount of speed that I'm losing from this Easton Hex to this Maxima Red 
I don't feel is worth that half an inch. No. Um, I really don't think so either. Um, because if this this thing, three hundred two, flying at three hundred feet per second, and you're, I know you did the kinetic energy calculator. What was the difference? Uh, I would have to look at it remember. again. I don't curious. remember. I did do it. It's on one of my videos. But it's got to still be, well, I don't even want to speculate, but it's still plenty. They were only like one and a half to two. It was less right. than two foot-pounds of kinetic energy yeah. that I was gaining, but I'm losing over 35 to 38 feet per second. That's a lot. Yeah. So I didn't, in my video, my opinion was for people with shorter draw lengths that don't have that gap of the, you know, 30, 31, 32 inch draw length to play with, it doesn't make sense for somebody with a shorter draw length to lose 30 to 40 feet per second to only gain one and a half to yeah. two uh foot pounds of kinetic energy it doesn't make sense to me i mean even because now all the talk is momentum but the momentum for me at a shorter draw length i personally would shoot a faster arrow with a fixed blade broadhead if i had to if if i had to shoot you know what I mean? If my top end, if my top end was 280, this is hypothetical. Yeah, yeah. If the yeah. fastest I could get a bow for like a short draw or whatever, even with these lighter arrows, say was in the 280s, mm -hmm. I would still choose a lighter, faster arrow, yeah. or I would definitely choose a lighter, faster arrow. Yeah. And they say that 280, you know, there was so much talk years ago to get bows over 300. Mm -hmm. Now everybody is saying that 280, 290 feet per second is the, the optimum speed for a hunting white-tailed deer situation. To me, me gaining 35 to 38 feet per second and losing only less than uh, I'd say half to three quarters of an inch of penetration. Yeah. I'm um, it's 30 feet per second difference. I'm shooting faster. Yep. Every time. Yep. If it's five feet per second heavier. difference, I'm gonna keep it heavier. Yep. Yep. Hmm. You know what I'd be interested to see? Is add only 25 frames, so put a 125 on the top. Let's see what the speed is. 